Alrighty, hey guys, welcome back to another discussion video. I'm still kind of sick, so bear with me. But uh, let's do another one of these. I did one of these yesterday. Let's do another one. So uh, the question is, how much better is Bannerlord right now than it was months that it came out? Um, and uh, let's read what people have to say. I'm going to give my opinion of it, right? So I'm pretty sure he's asking this because obviously there's a discount right now. Um, I don't know how much longer it's going to run for, but... You know, that's probably why he's asking. He wants to see if he wants to buy it, right? So, let's do it. So, actually, much better. That being said, I bought my wife for two saddle horses and 500 dinars yesterday. So, some things are still a little janky. It's not a bad trade. Not a bad trade. Okay, next one. Stability performance-wise, many, many times better. Content-wise, many perks are fixed. New quests added. But overall, the content is largely the same. Okay. Uh, give it two more years to stew. It's still raw. Okay. Been wondering the same thing. Been playing a bunch. The month it came out, had a blast, but haven't played since. Okay. Really enjoyed it, but it needs mods. Okay. Uh, alrighty. Now, um, here's what I agree with. I think stability and performance-wise, perfect. It's perfect. It's again to the point where it's almost perfect. You know. Uh, when the game first came out, obviously, there was a lot of performance issues, a lot of FPS issues, especially big battles, especially sieges. But in terms of that, most of that has been fixed, in my opinion. Most of it. Yes, there's still some more stuff to fix. There's always stuff to fix. But I think performance-wise and stability-wise, if you weren't able to play it very well earlier on, or if you were afraid that your uh, PC couldn't handle it earlier on, um, I would try it. I would try it now, definitely. Uh, the performance went up tenfold, in my opinion. Um, and, you know, a lot of people got upset with the developers for that reason, that the fact that most updates had a lot of performance and back-end fixes and not enough shiny stuff, as I like to call it, which is the content that people are looking for, that shiny stuff, you know? Even though, in my opinion, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick with this opinion for, you know, as long as it takes for people to get in their heads, stability and performance is a core feature to any game. I don't care if you can't see it. I don't care that. A lot of people take it, um, uh, what's it called? A lot of people take advantage of it, and a lot of people don't give it the credit it deserves. But I think a game that came out uh, very recently that a lot of people are very, very mad about, you know, that game that's with the C, as with the 77. But um, that just gives you a prime example of how, you know, they added all the shiny stuff. Not even all the shiny stuff. There's a lot of stuff missing. But the performance and the stability is garbage. And because of that, they have so much backlash, there's literally no way to handle it. And that's why, like I said before, and I also going to make a video on that game that um, talks about that as well. But stability and performance is a huge part of any game. And I think that the Mountain Blade devs have, uh, you know, done their part and done a good job in terms of that and the game is very playable it is so i think it's very good in my opinion now uh content wise um yes many perks are fixed so perks didn't work before most of them are fixed there's still a couple more fixes that needs to be done but for the most part a lot of them do work uh most of them do work at this point so that's a good uh you know a lot of people were very mad about the perks even though i didn't really care that much but a lot of people did want to have like those special builds and stuff so most of them do work a lot of them have secondary effects now which is a lot better makes them more usable uh for more than just one situation new quests are added i, th I still think quests are meh in my opinion i think quests are like early game or if you want to try them out for the first time other than that quests are useless in my opinion i think we should have scalable quests i think we should have uh quests that we can do together with different clans like bigger quests and stuff like that i think that would improve the game a lot but um, in terms of other content, um, what's it called? AI makes better decisions now. They uh, they will stay alive for a little bit longer. Uh, where we have a patch that's coming uh, very soon, where snowballing will be completely fixed uh, to the point where most kingdoms will survive. Literally, almost all the kingdoms will survive um, for 20, 30 years of in-game time. Also, rebellions are coming, which is a feature where. Um, towns can get taken over if you don't treat your settlement right they will get taken over by a, by a new clan forming and then that new clan can then join a different kingdom and you will lose that town forever unless you take it back so that's very cool i think that's a very good concept um it brings new clans in the system 
we're going to, uh, children are going to be able to now, what's it called, once they grow up, they're going to start their own parties. We have lore deaths, which uh, happen during battles now, which is good. Um, putting, you can actually, now, um, there's been, it's slowly been shifting, but now making better, smarter decisions. Like, let's say, for example, um, what's it called? Capturing lords and putting them in a, putting them in a dungeon actually works now. It was a bug for a long time, but it is finally fixed. So putting them in a dungeon actually works and kind of just like maintaining how your units, how can I say this? Like maintaining um, that type of attacks you do does make a significant difference in terms of war and peace. If you attack, if you raid specific um, villages, uh, uh, let's, let, let's say you want peace with a bigger kingdom, right? But you want to pay as little as possible. The best way to do that um, is to raid as many different clans, villages as possible. Because if you raid their villages, that's going to impact their income. And if all their income goes down, if a lot of the clan's income go down, whenever you, uh, let's say, what's it called? They might they might put up a vote for peace because they're losing a lot of income. Or whenever you try to pay, pay for peace, they will um, make the price lower because they also kind of want it as well. So just small stuff like that. There's other stuff that you can do as well. But there's small stuff like that now that you can actually kind of, you know, make the smart play about. It's not just like how it was before where it's just like endless fighting, endless fighting. There still is that, but you can still make a little bit smarter decisions now to kind of get an upper hand, right? Now, in terms of stuff that's missing, let's let's get to it. So diplomacy, still not really there. Not really. Um, I think that needs to definitely be worked on. Alliances, we're slowly getting them. You know, with the rebellions and all that, we're slowly getting them. But diplomacy and alliances are the two major things that we need. Once that is Once that is given to the game, game will be finished. I'm just going to say it how it is. Obviously, you can add more stuff, upgradable workshops, upgradable caravans, like I've stated many times before. But once we get diplomacy and alliances, I think the game will be um, as good as it can get. I think those are the two main things that we're missing. Literally, the two main things that we're missing. Stability performance is there. The action aspect is there. You know, the battles and stuff, they're good. They're good. You know, the taking over, it all makes sense. If we could just have some diplomacy, if we could just talk to lords a little bit more uh, frequently and actually, you know, make some big decisions other than just battles and battles, great. If we can make alliances through marriage, through, um, you know, just paying tribute or this or this or, or, or the other, that would be great. If we get those two things um, overall, the game will be as good as done. I, I think a lot of people are, uh, are kind of, you know... Um, Obviously, you can add more stuff, like you can add feasts and this, this, that, and I, and, I, and I do want feasts to be added eventually, or something along that form, right? But um, I think we're, we're pretty close to getting the game done to a good state. It's just some major stuff is missing, and those two major things I just stated, diplomacy and alliances. But overall, we're getting there. We are getting there. I know a lot of people say it's a little bit slow and it's a little bit that. Not really. Compared to how other developers work, it's not really slow. It is getting there. We're, you know, there's always consistent fixes, there's always consistent stuff being talked about in the forums, and um, I do cover them. So, you know, I've been covering them since the game literally launched. So, you know, it's I've seen the development. It's 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 definitely getting there. Um, it really depends on what you're looking for. If you're looking for for like um, you know, more diplomacy, more kind of that type of thing, it's not there yet. But if for, you're looking for core gameplay. Just, you know, being able to take over kingdoms, make your own kingdom, kind of, you know, all that stuff, you know, get into a lot of battles, get into a lot of conflicts and all that. It's there. I think it's there. I think uh, performance and stability is there as well. So it really just depends what you're looking for. If you want to go get it right now, if you're going to try it again. If you haven't tried it since the start, I would definitely try it again. I think it's a lot more fun with all the extra stuff that's been added into it over time. But uh, yeah, it's going to do it for me. I don't want to keep this video too long. Just wanted to quickly give it all out there. Plus, my throat is hurting again because obviously doing a lot of talking for being sick. But uh, yeah, hopefully that kind of helped. Ask me any questions and concerns. And like always, stay safe.